The Shetland Times is keeping connected with Shetlanders living in other parts of the country. In the first of a series of videos made in association with the University of the West of Scotland, Brian Degning speaks to Glasgow-based marketing consultant Megan Burns about life in the central belt and how she stays in touch with her home island of Unst. Do you still feel connected to Shetland even after moving away from the mainland? Yeah, I do. Um, I think it's important for any Shetlander when they've lived there and then they move away to stay connected, whether it's um, about the news going on or just what's going on in their hometown. Um, and I think the growth of social media and online um, stuff like that is a big help. Do you know what I mean? You've got the websites, you've got um, the news posting about social media and then you've got everybody else also posting their own personal news. So you do, you always stay connected. How important is it to know what's going on in your local community even though you live in Glasgow? Uh, I think it's very important. I think it's important to keep up with what's going on. You know, you're always going to go back. A lot of the time people do go back, whether it's once a year, twice a year, three times a year. Um, once every three years, you know, everybody kind of always has that connection. I see people all the time who moved away 30 years ago who are becoming part of groups that are purely for Shetlanders, so sharing family history and sharing photos. And I think that's great. So, that yeah, I think it's important to everybody to stay connected in some way. Can you give us a snapshot of your daily life in the Shetland Islands? Uh, I think that a lot depends on the weather. Um, I think if it's obviously nice weather, you tend to get outdoors. Uh, it's very beautiful when you go outside and um, there's activities going on outside as well when it's maybe not so nice you've got a project working indoors and also I think sport is a big thing so that's outdoors and indoor sport uh, there's always something going on or something you can get involved in. How has your life changed since moving to Glasgow? It's changed a lot I think the main the main reason I moved to Glasgow was for my work you know I've, I've got my online coaching which allows me to help rural areas so the likes of the Shetland that's why I've set it up is so that I can help them um, but be based in Glasgow. But I moved down here because of the scale of the work I wanted to do. Uh, you know, I've managed to secure QD events as part of the SCCC as one of my clients, and that allows me to work on large scale events that go on in the SCCC um, and other events outside of that with other clients as well, which is great. And so I've got the best of both worlds in a sense. We spoke about your work. Have you any other projects going on? Uh, yeah, I've got my online coaching and I've got, um, I'm working on an ebook. Uh, which will hopefully be available to download from my website and on a Kindle version. Um, hopefully by the end of the year, if not a couple of months time, I'm hoping to finish it soon. So that'll be available, that's aimed at startups and entrepreneurs looking to just expand their knowledge and marketing. Um, especially, sometimes it talks about very basic things um, and sometimes I think that's the things that are missing for a lot of people. They tend to dive right in at the deep end and not actually go through the process of getting your marketing off the ground. So that's what the book aims to do, and um, it's just going to be cheap and cheerful, under ten pound, just to quickly buy, um, and yeah, help help others. You mentioned your online business. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. So my online business launched a couple of months ago. Uh, that was and the main goal there was to connect myself with Shetland Islands and other rural areas. So I grew up in the Shetland Islands, and I'm aware of the the access they have to other people and professions and things like that. And I, I've always wanted to be able to give back. And so being down in Glasgow, my online coaching allows me to help other businesses, small businesses in rural, rural areas um, with their marketing. So we set out a strategy and we set weekly goals and there's weekly check-ins and things like that so that I can keep an eye on what they're doing and help them and guide them along the way. How did growing up in the Shetland Islands affect your work? Uh, I think growing up in Shetland has had a massive impact on who I am today. I actually wrote a blog post on it. Um, and it seems to be really popular with people back in Shetland is that growing up there as much as you think when you're growing up that you're kind of on this island and things like that you, as you grow older you realise and you learn to appreciate where you grew up you know the people around you are very very supportive um, in terms of sport I grew up with sports all I did uh, I remember my mum telling me once that I actually had to choose what sports I wanted to do because I couldn't do them all um, and so yeah, and that having that support and give the sport giving me competitive edge and the people around me supporting me and that's they support me from then until now. So yeah, I think it has had a big impact, you know, I've got the drive and determination. I don't know if I'd had that if I'd grown up in a city with everything around me. How important is sport to you? It's very important. I admit as I said, I grew up with it and uh, I will admit when I went to university I kind of backtracked a wee bit, I think as everybody does when they go to university. But within two years, I thought, right, I need, I need to get back into it. And so I started um, running, signed up for a half marathon. Uh, I joined the badminton club down here a couple of months ago to try and get back into badminton as well. And then 
on the side of that for for a few years now I've been doing um weight training in the gym which I love I just love being able to go in put my headphones in zone out for a couple of hours um and so this year I've been, I followed the sport for bodybuilding as a result of that for a couple of years now and I've just never really wanted to compete never really had the drive or the time to compete um and I thought this year is this year I'm going to do it so this year I'll be doing my first show and I say my only show I just want to do it to prove to myself I can do it uh, and then I'll be back to just doing what I enjoy so going to the gym for an hour or going to play badminton things like that so yeah it is important it's, I think it's important in work you get away for a wee while and sport is how I do that what do you miss most about being home? Uh, I think the freedom uh, aspect, the safety aspect of it as well. You know, you can nip into the shop or leave your keys in your car overnight. You know, it's not as much as a deal as down here. Uh, I also miss the views, the views back home and the beaches and the sea. You know, you're always close to the sea when you're back home, and that's all. I miss that a lot of times. How often do you get the chance, if ever, to visit back home? Uh, I try to go home as much as I can and that's, you know, I would I don't go home as much as I would like to. Uh, I've got work obviously and you've got your life down here. Um, but I try and go back once a year at least um, and then maybe once again sometime, whether it's for a wedding or a celebration or a family gathering or Christmas, something like that. So once or twice a year I try and get back home. What's the biggest differences about living in Glasgow City? Uh, the people are different. Uh, I think that's the biggest difference. You've got people, people are very friendly down here as well as back home. Uh, just the way they approach things is very different. So, uh, and their outlook on things, you know, they've grown up, people down here have, tend to have grown up in a city of some sort, whereas people back home have grown up in Shetland, you know what I mean? And you've got people from down here who move up to Shetland. So you've got that varying difference between the people there. Do you miss hearing the Shetland accent? <laughs> I do, but I'm lucky enough that I've got friends down here as well, and my parents, my mum. What advice do you have for any youngsters in the Shetland Islands thinking about moving? Uh, I think don't be afraid to take a risk is my biggest one. Um, you know, sometimes I think people, because the opportunity isn't there, they just go and do something else that maybe they're not so happy in. Uh, and so I think, yeah, take the risk. If the opportunity isn't there, make the opportunity, okay? Make it become available to you. Um, set, start up your own business or move away for a couple of years, get some years of experience behind you and go back and do it, do you know what I mean? So don't be afraid to take the risk would be my main advice. What childhood memory sticks out most for you? Um, most of them are in the outdoors, you know, you spend a lot of time outdoors when you're younger. Uh, when I was younger I used to spend all my time playing football. Uh, I was the only girl in my class for a number of years, um, especially in primary school, and so you just go out and do whatever the other guys were doing. Um, as I got older though I, I kind of grew up with other childhood friends and there was one in particular one summer there was a beach maybe five miles away from the house and we would cycle out in the morning we'd take a pack lunch we'd spend all day at the beach and then we'd cycle back home and um, so yeah there's just loads of different ones that happen in the outdoor that maybe just wouldn't have happened if I was living down in Glasgow. Do you think you'll ever go back to the Shetland Islands permanently? I don't know uh, I've never said I won't do it and I've never said that I'm definitely going to do it I think I'll just take it as it comes you know it depends on circumstances and what I'm doing in my life and what my parents are maybe doing and where they are and you know there's my parents own one of my well my mum owns a business back in Unst, um, a couple of them actually and so obviously it depends on where she is when she's older and my dad as well so yeah it's just different different aspects of my life it just depends maybe maybe not if you had one thing to say to your family and friends back home what would that be uh, it would probably be thank you um for like all the support when i was growing up whether it was to do with my sport or my education or things outside of both of those um and then from then until now basically they've i've always had support from shetland and i think that's a big pull element for it for it um so yeah it would be thank you and thank you for your time, Megan. Thank Thanks you. for having me. <laughs>